hello everyone in today's video we will be seeing one of the previous year question so we are given a newton rings which are formed between a spherical surface of radius of curvature 100 cm and a plane glass plate so we have a plane glass plate above it is a plano convex lens having a radius of curvature 100 cm because of this film this air film there is an interference due to which we are observing the newton rings so we are given the diameters of fourth and fifteenth bright rings that are 0.314 and 0.574 so here we have to calculate the diameters for 24th and 36th rings and also the wavelength of the light used so basically we have to find the lambda and the d24 and d36 so we know the path difference between the two reflected rays 2 mu t cos angle of refraction plus lambda by 2 because we know the r is 0 degree we have a normal incidence so this cos r goes to 1 so our path difference between the two rays will be 2 mu t plus lambda bar. So this is the basic introduction. The condition for constructive interference is the path difference that is 2 mu t where mu is the refractive index of that film and this t is the thickness. So our path difference 2 mu t plus lambda by 2 is equal to m lambda this is the condition so we can take the lambda this becomes 2 m minus 1 lambda by 2 that means this 2 mu t should be the odd integral of half waves so that's the condition for the constructive interference that is for the formation of the bright rings so we have a setup like this so this is the radius of curvature of this spherical surface and this is a small t this is the thickness and this is the radius we will represent this radius with small r that is giving the mth bright ring applying the Pythagoras theorem so this r square is equal to rm square plus this is small t so this side will become r minus t whole square so when we open this we get this thing so this will cancel out and we know this thickness is very very less than this radius of curvature so if we multiply t on both the sides so our t square is very very less than rt so we can neglect this t square term so that means our rm square is equal to twice rt thickness can be written as rm square over twice of r so let's use this expression into this condition so let's put out this t expression so we get 2m minus 1 lambda r over 2 mu this the radius we are given the diameter so we can write this as dm by 2 which is equal to twice of m minus 1 lambda r over 2 mu so this diameter square is equal to 4 twice m minus 1 lambda r over 2 mu this will be 2 so this dm square is equal to twice m minus 1 twice lambda r over mu 
so this is the expression we are going to use in this in this question we will take the mu 1 for air fill if the diameter of m plus p ring is equal to 2 m plus p minus 1 twice lambda r let's take the difference this diameter square of m plus p and this diameter square of m and ring so we put twice m plus twice p minus 1 and this twice of m plus 1 that is common to lambda r so this will cancel so our expression for finding the lambda comes out to be 4 pr is equal to lambda so this is the expression so in this question we are given the d4 the diameter of the fourth ring that is the 0.314 centimeter and the diameter of the 15th ring 0.574 centimeter so here our p value is difference of the ring number 15 minus 4 that is 11 so let's put the values here r is 100 centimeter so our lambda will become 0.574 whole square minus 0 0.314 whole square divided by 4 into 11 into 100 so this value comes out to be 524.7 into 10 raised to power minus 7 centimeter so this is our lambda now we can find out the diameters for let's find for 24th ring so this will become twice of m minus 1 into twice lambda is 524.7 in 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter and r is 100 so our diameter comes out to be after solving this whole equation we get the diameter of 24th ring as 0 0.702 centimeter you can check this answer similarly for 36th ring which is twice of 36 minus 1 whole square twice so lambda is 524.7 into 10 minus 7 into 100 it's radius of curvature so the value for this third six ring 0.863 centimeter so this is a solution for this question if you have any doubts related to this question you can ask me in the comment box and if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video